Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video we are looking at the other version of the DC Universe Classics Green Arrow figure. This is another viewer requested video, so here you go. Uh, this guy is my particular favorite version of the Green Arrow, and this is a pretty darn good figure. I'll point out the flaws or issues with it as we go, but it's still a mighty fine figure. He stands at about six and three quarter inches tall he has a completely different look and mostly different sculpt than the other arrow he has only this one accessory though unless i bought him loose i don't remember anymore and i'm just missing stuff i think this is the only one he has no paint on it at all it's just solid green so that's a little lame but it will suffice especially since the figure is it's pretty impressive actually. Now the hood does have some of that mineral issue where you get that white stuff that looks like dust. It's not dust, he's been in a plastic bag since I got him. You can just wipe that off with a wet cloth, a damp cloth, uh, and then it'll go away, but it'll come back. So I would suggest if you're willing to do this, throw some clear paint on there and that should prevent it. And then you won't have any issue at all. Or just keep wiping it off if you're worried about it. No big deal. So the hood, it's a separate piece to allow for the head articulation, which I do like, but the way it's designed, it doesn't really look quite right when you turn it. It doesn't quite look quite right no matter what. So it's a little bit of an issue, but it's easily overlooked once you get it posed because he does still have that really cool looking hood and a really nice face sculpt underneath. And they did do shading on the hair and goatee and everything, so that's pretty cool. He's got a new quiver compared to the other one and has this nice stitch work in here. The arrows are painted a little bit better. His outfit is much better, I think, uh, except for the fact that they did not paint these laces here. That's all just one dark green, but the sculpt work is really good. There's lots of wrinkles in it. You can see the stitching around the seams, so that's really cool. And then on the dark green up here, they did some airbrush style shading, so that makes it look even better. Uh, the arms don't have those straps going all the way down, they just have the two straps on the biceps. And then the forearms have these nicely sculpted, nicely detailed uh, bracers or whatever else you want to call those. And you can see they painted the little arrows in there, so that's really good. The belt and bottom part of the shirt is all sculpted and painted nicely. They painted all the little buttons. Uh, the knife is just sculpted in, but it's painted well, so I'll let that slide. I probably wouldn't have him posed with that anyway. The little strap here is sculpted well and painted well, but mine's glued on crooked, so it looks a little bit weird. But it's still, they painted all the buttons and it's a nice sculpt, so I'm okay with it. And then lastly, the boots are sculpted and painted. So it's pretty cool. As far as articulation goes, the head, you get a little bit up and down, but not a whole lot. Mostly just the swivel. Shoulders work just fine, if even a little bit better than the other arrow. Nice range of motion. Uh, nice bicep swivel on there, pretty standard. Same thing with the elbow hinge. The wrists swivel and have the hinge in there just like before so he can hold his bow. And then this one has the string hand so he can pull the string back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they did not paint the arms that's molded in that color so the skin doesn't look quite as good as on the other arrow. But uh, it's still not bad and it's not molded in a glossy plastic so that's just fine. The ab crunch works just fine. This is a soft piece. You can't take the quiver off, but this can move so it doesn't get in the way of the articulation. Waist twist is just fine. You can also use the waist twist with the skirt part if you want to, so that's up to you. This is nice and soft, so you can still pose the legs just fine all the way around. Standard DCUC articulation. Nothing really to point out here. Single jointed knee and single jointed ankle, but really a nice range of motion. So stick around here at the end and I'll put them in some poses in some photos for you guys so you can see what he looks like as he would on your shelf but I definitely recommend this figure it's a really nice version of the Green Arrow and it's probably going to only go up in value thanks to the new TV show so there it is guys thanks for watching make sure you give this video a like if you did and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting